Now let's cover how to do the interactive sessions. Take a use case. We have a script that made test the neural network and we've always run it on the CPU. But we now want to bring it to the GPU. And the correct way to do this is using srun. So right now I'm again logged onto the front end on the glog in line and I have my code in front of me, so the test.py. And let's say I've written the code in such a way that the neural network lives on the CPU and I want to see, okay, does my code actually run if I change this to CUDA, so to run on the uh, GPU. Again, I don't want my code to be executed on the front end. Instead, what I can do is use srun. So I would use srun minus minus pty to give me a bash. And we've seen in the last session that we have different partitions available. The correct partition here in this case to choose would be greater interactive. As we're only planning to make small changes to the program and not to run a full training. I do need to specify though also a GPU. You can find the exact specification in the documentation. So right now we have the NVIDIA naming scheme of the slice GPU, which would be like 2G, 10GB, and maybe let's take two of them. I could also add other parameters. For instance, with minus W, I could say I want to have a specific node or Minus minus exclude, I could also exclude some of the nodes in the partition. But let's keep it simple and use this. We now see that our job was queued and waiting for the resources. And we got what we wanted, so allocated resources. And we're now living on the GDPU 101. So right now we have a new session. And before we can run our Python program, we need to load the Anaconda and our Conda environment. So let's do this. Let's activate the environment. Nice. And now I do have an interactive session and I can run anything without blocking the front end. So Right now, my code is in testpy. It also lives in code. So I can just execute it with Python, test.py, and we'll see whether the GPU um, is used, or whether our code gets an error. our code ran through. So we can go ahead and make other changes and well we could even start a new file and code and we always have the live session on the GDPU 101. Once we're done with this we can always exit the session with exit and we're back on the front end. Now you might be wondering okay we can use srun but what if we have a really long job that takes hours like training a neural network. And for this, we have the sbatch command.